Hey everybody, before we start this special episode of the Super Show Saga, I wanted to make a quick addendum. For the Mario Bros. 3 show, I normally supply reference images to go along with the episode plot and make it easier for you to understand what we're talking about, but reanimated projects have a lot more to them than the assorted frames I gather from each episode. So the video is just going to be the album artwork for our non-Mario episodes. Instead, I encourage you to pull up the reanimated video yourself and watch along with our audio like a commentary track. You could mute or unmute the actual reanimated audio, whichever is easiest for you to understand what we're saying. And that's all I have to say. Now on with the show. What's cooking on Kirby? Just you wait and see. Kirby right back at ya. It's the place to be. Got a saw pop that'll make you scream. Sounds to me just like another scheme. Ah, hell me broke my Halloween. This fall on Kirby, right back at ya. This fall on Kirby. Kirby, 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 that's a name you should know. Kirby, 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 he's a star of the show. He's more than a pink, he got maximum pink. Kirby, 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 Kirby Kirby's the one. one. Hello, no. <laughs> Oh, it's such a good opening. <laughs> Before we get to the opening, we gotta talk. Of course we do. About things. Because today's a very special episode well, of our podcast that's mainly been about Mario, but it's suddenly not about Mario. Also, hello, this is the uh, Super Show Saga. I am Delfino. And I am Peach. Uh, it's and today we're not talking about Mario. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I thought we were going to get burnt out on Mario, but we've planted these episodes uh, into our schedule to that we aren't completely immune to all of the flaws of the Mario show. I mean, I could watch Mario all day, but maybe. You know, but then you'd it, it all, have a variety. It could blur together, or we would just start accepting the faults as normalcies it's and just forget like, how give valuable. Your brain something else to think about. And we forget about how valuable animation is. <laughs> so. For now, for these special episodes, we've decided to go over different reanimated collabs because that's a, a very popular trend right now. Right now? For, for, well, for the past five years, it, it ebbs and flows depending on when things come out. Okay. So there was the period, it started with the Sailor Moon reanimated. Mm -hmm. And then everybody was like, oh, let's, let's all jump on that train. But they were all cautious about it. Because copyright! Well, not even just copyright. It's like, I don't know if I'm good enough to be in a reanimated. Oh, And so then yeah. the Mama Luigi one was really the one that set people off. <laughs> you can do Make, anything. Anybody can do a reanimated. And so all of these reanimateds have shown up. But only recently we've started the third wave of reanimations where the ones that were started with Mom and Luigi are actually finally coming out because you realize the trouble with reanimated is this, it's so easy to get good people at the beginning and then you get to the end and it's like you've got 50 scenes left that just nobody will sign up for. And you're like, please, <laughs> please. Look, they're like, look, please. we'll take anybody. I mean, hey, here's, here's the big thing. <laughs> They'll take anybody. I can attest to that. Because? So today we've decided to do one that's very special to me with the Kirby reanimated. Sadly, you can no longer find it on YouTube because YouTube's a jerk. But if you just look up on the internet Kirby reanimated, you'll get a helpful link. Wink, wink. <laughs> that starts with a V or perhaps it starts with an M. No, it starts with an N. Like, neckle. An N, not okay. an M, like Matsumi. So anyway, it's my embarrassment here. The reason this one is so special to me is because <laughs> I actually animated a scene for it. It was like one second long. Oh god! Do you want to so do you want to talk about the application process? Sure. So if, if anyone's ever interested, no, you I dropped the cat it. on your own. We've we also we've decided. Look, I to put it back up perfectly. We balanced a cat on a microphone because <laughs> it was it was adorable. Stretch. 
cool. She kitty. It's one of those like cat magnets that you have. It's not a magnet. I mean, it's not a magnet. Because if it was, the mic would be busted. I think it's one of those like wine things you stick on the edge. Note to be like, whose drink is this? (laughs) You put you put a cat on your wine cup. One with Siamese kitty. No, yours is the one with the tabby. (laughs) Mine is the Siamese kitty, and you get in a fight, maybe. Uh But so back when all these reanimateds were starting, what year was this, by the way? Can you? Oh, I had it. I had it somewhere. I've completely forgotten. It was when I was in college, because I remember um, back when Mom Luigi came out. I was laughing at it. I'm like, man, it'd be so cool if they did Kirby, because I absolutely love the Kirby series. At some point, I'd love to cover some episodes on this podcast because it's so. (laughs) The dub is so funny. They, I don't know. People, oh my god! People, people rag on the dub, but well, honestly, people rag it's on so four funny. kids as a whole. And I think you gotta take note that four kids dubbing is a lot like, and I might get into a little trouble, so I'm not gonna mention any specific groups. But it's manga scanlation. It's fans <laughs> doing the work because official uh, companies either don't or you don't like how they're doing it with scanlations. Translation's really hard. I think so nowadays, just... four kids dubs are more appreciated because you can actually go and watch a lot of these in their original Japanese audio, or they've been remastered with accurate audio. <laughs> accurate? Well, it's like with Sailor Moon. Like, we had the original dub, which was garbage, and it's so funny. If you ever have some time, look up some bad Sailor Moon dub quotes on YouTube. It's a a gas. By the way, (laughs) speaking of that, some of the early Sailor Moon cast is by Deke, and a lot of voice actors are shared with the Mario show. (laughs) Tracy Moore is the big uh, shout-out, because she was the first Sailor Moon, and she got super sick of the production because she's like this is terrible lip syncing is but nowadays like we have our old dub to enjoy and laugh at but we also you also can just look at it with a proper dub or just in the original japanese and it's with streaming services it's a lot easier but like back when the fox box was a thing it's like I you e- even remember the Fox Box. Yeah, that was, was that was four pre kids. four kids. <laughs> was, I was just four kids. But back then, like the only way you could experience any of these animes was to catch them live on the weekends <laughs> and to record them on your VHS. That's what we did. <laughs> yep, it was very good. But I don't know. You didn't talk about the application process. Well, so back when they were doing them, I said that if they did a four kids. Kirby one, I would love to join it, and lo and behold, they did one. <laughs> I think you sent me the link, Delfino, and we're like, you should do this, and I'm like, I've never animated anything in my life. Oh, I'm a traditional artist. I'm a traditional artist. How am I supposed to animate? And like, I was in the middle of college at the time. <laughs> was this a Ooh. chemistry lab time? I think was it was the past statistics. That. Was it? So the, we've pulled up the video. It was from. I uploaded my scene in 2018, but I believe the reanimated went up in 2019 early. No. Anyway, this was back when I used to strive for the thinnest line art possible, so it was before I got yeah. my nice Copic pens. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I drew every single frame by hand. And then we stitched them all I together. I stitched them all together with my crappy Photoshop plan, and then uh, I submitted it. Luckily, the scene is only one second long, so... Um, seven beautiful frames. Seven beautiful frames. You're not tortured for life. <laughs> oh, God. How was reception, you know, would you say? Eh. Eh. I, I'm just... <laughs> I'm no good with criticism. I get so embarrassed. And, like, nowadays I have... I collaborate with you, so yes. I draw the frames and you animate them. Yes, and because I, I have video editing acknowledge because of my Because I have the whole storyboard in my head. Thing. I just... I can't make it work. <laughs> I guess... I think in order to make it work, we would have to... Uh, what's one of have the to animation, get good at using t- an animation program? I would have to Photoshop. spend money, and I don't. <laughs> I don't want to spend money. Look, uh, I love it. I love drawing. It's my hobby. It's not I don't, my lifestyle. I don't have the the dough to be spending on 
proper animations. Ooh. Like, maybe if I did commissions or something, but this this is just something I do to de-stress for fun. Did you, <laughs> did you hear the fireworks outside? So si- since then, I've actually applied for a few reanimated collabs. Uh, I don't believe any of those have come out yet, but when they do, I'll maybe make mention of them, and we might decide to cover them on the podcast. Well, also, uh, I doubt they'll be done by the time uh, this episode comes out, so... If you are a, if you're a drawing novice, honestly, these reanimateds are super almost done, but not quite. And really, they just, they just need help. Like, seriously, if they'll take me, Here's the thing. they'll take anybody. As, as a project leader, <laughs> like, first. I hate, we'll make a joke about this later in the reanimated, but uh-huh. like, for, in terms of exposure... <laughs> You get a lot. You get a lot. (laughs) Like, there's the whole working for pay or working for exposure. Yeah, that's the whole joke. But, like, really, if you want to draw attention to your stuff, you should get by. (laughs) It's... It's good. It helps you get your foot in the door. Is it your most viewed uh, video on YouTube? I don't know. I mean, out of my... My other upload is me... Hitting nine hundred and ninety nine dogs in Warrior Wear Gold yeah. Nintendo. Yeah, you don't. You only have three videos up. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you have so many subscribers for that many videos. I'll go ahead and say it. the The other video I have is from the Donkey Kong reanimated, which is very, very, very is, close oh, to coming out. It is super almost so, done. So, um, if there's any people that have some extra time and maybe could reanimate, like you don't a scene, even need cartoon. It's knowledge. not even that. You could just use all the scenes that are left are like transition scene. You could use person walks across the floor. It's just all that extra stuff that's like that you don't think you just, about. You just need it to get done. <laughs> Honestly, I think some scenes aren't even hand aren't even uh, artistically. Well, like you can they're do not anything. animated. You could do stop motion. You there's could stop do, motion. There's uh, puppets. Like, puppets. You could do just miming, not like the person, but you could do like. Oh, well, there was that one person cutouts. that did like the rotoscoping. Oh, I was thinking paper cutouts. You could like take pictures of yourself doing it and then do it like a motion capture not motion capture <laughs> what am i thinking you are thinking rotoscope i am thinking stop motion but with pictures of yourself like oh because that's thinking, a really cool thing are you thinking maybe for another one i don't know anyways don't know. <laughs> so yeah that one and also the super mario brothers 3 one that one Which has been in limbo for a while it's been so long that i've picked up a second scene that i'm slowly working on whenever i have a day off <laughs> you have a day off tomorrow <laughs> day off <laughs> Well, we have some other things to get done first. But like yes. this podcast. But really, a lot of reanimated as a project leader myself, the problem is not quality, it is quantity. People st- sticking to the plan. <laughs> and also, the thing that happens People is- People say they'll do it, and then if you don't check up or give any due dates, then you will hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, because- Because- <laughs> Since no one's getting paid, people are doing this on their off time, like me, and it's just like, if you don't, like, keep reminding me of it, or if I'm not, like... I'm gonna get distracted. If I don't have a flash, then it's like... You don't eh. have an, a flash of ins- inspiration. <laughs> Please watch Kira Kira on Crunchyroll. Please support more Precure. I want the entire series on Crunchyroll. We are not Please. sponsored by Crunchyroll or Precure. I wish. Oh my god, I wish. Okay. Oh, if, if we were Precure reanimated, when? <laughs> if it was, it would be a Japan. It would be Japan focused people, and yeah, it would true. be for Futariwa. I'd, I'd have to practice my Japanese again. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they remade a Futariwa episode. We'd get that crisp, clear audio. <laughs> Would we? They're releasing Max Heart on Blu-ray. Japan. Did you hear? Oh, that's nice for them. <laughs> Good for them. Good for them, Japan. Let's re- release GoPre on, on Blu-ray and then we'll talk. <laughs> All they have. It just is on that episodic basis. All right. Anyways, it's been a very long time. And we aren't really talking about uh, Kirby. Kirby. So yeah, our first one. It's a name you should know. Is Kirby Kirby Kirby. Because he's the star he's of the show. the star <laughs> of the show. I love this show. So uh, we're going to have... <laughs> we're cheating. We're cheating. So we're going to have the reanimated on in the background. And so if there's a particular scene <laughs> that we like, we're going to mention it. Um, I don't know all of the animators' names. By heart. By heart. But I will say... 
everyone who participated in this, like, I give you all the thumbs Two up. Two thumbs up. Like, it's amazing. You all did such great work. It's, it is the, it is the I fact mean, that you dang. submitted it and got it in. You actually did it, and it's here, and we can watch this and enjoy it. And I don't even know when the last time I watched the original episode in its pure form was. Like, every time I think to watch it, I'm like... Let's look at that reanimated collab. It's so good. <laughs> I might have watched it when they put like a side by side. Sometimes yeah. fans will make side by side. Side by sides are fun too. <laughs> they are fun because you'll see how crazy someone goes mm-hmm. to, to reinvent it. Also, it feels very awkward that the reanimated that I know went out of its way to say, "Listen, we are, <laughs> we not... are nonprofit. This is a fan thing. We it's... are not infringing on your copyright. It's fair use." <laughs> it got. <sighs> I heard it, it was taken down taken by down. someone posing as some sort of yeah, whatever YouTube hell YouTube publisher. be crazy. <laughs> I don't know, but YouTube got it taken down, and they were just like, you know what? We didn't. We uploaded it on more than one place. We're just gonna take this. And I believe they still have it. Have a playlist on YouTube where you can go to each person's channel, and they linked each scene in a row. Although you have people like me who didn't upload oh <laughs> the tag- one second video <laughs> oh because like they, the full because like, that's the cool thing go, about go these reanimated is that you could see the whole reanimation process and like yeah. i i put roughs, up concept, my, my roughs like flag colors colors, colors. lip syncing yeah. all of that it was the nice slideshow yeah I, I liked my slideshow, and that was back when Star Allies was coming out. That's an important thing for this, because mm. you can always tell when these come out what things are popular and what has just come out. Yes. So Star Allies was very new at the time, and I used Star Allies music in my video because it was very Did you? Cute. I swore it was from Return to uh, no, it was. It's because it's the remix of the um, Kirby's Adventure Neon Oh, can you, it's the one that goes. Sing it Thank you. <laughs> okay, so for posterity's sake, the the reanimator was uploaded very early 2019, I believe. But planning for it was all of 2018. All of 2018, would you say, or late, no? It started way late 2017. Than that. It was 2018 when people started finally getting their nose to the grind. So the Kirby one was very good about sending you reminder emails. Like that's the thing I think a lot of these reanimated reanimated are kind of suffering from. It's that they don't send you reminder emails and then you forget about it and then <laughs> then you're looking in your folder one day and you're like, oh, whoops, I signed up for this thing. I should probably or, finish it. Or we're organizing your papers and I go, hey, Peach, what's this? Why do this you have all concept? these pictures of Cranky Kong? And you're like, oops. Oopsie. <laughs> Because really, it is it is the flash of inscuration. I finished that reanimate in like a week because I got really. I started watching the Donkey Kong show, and that got me really into drawing also, Donkey Kong. You're watching. We'll give a shout out, Louis Zong. You are a hero to my ears for your music, and to my eyes for your mabim What if what if Louis Zong was in one of these reanimates? That would be amazing. He's too busy actually working at a cartoon job, though. I know. Cartoon (laughs) Network. What if he did? Oh my gosh. It would be nuts. It would be so cute. I know uh, Kiki, the one who does the bird can-can, he did the Rhythm Heaven one. He did do a Rhythm Heaven one. I would find it's just 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 more time to do stuff. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. All right. Uh, uh, so another thing to mention before we start that this reanimated collab is dedicated to Angel X Monkey. Uh, fill us in. Okay, so they were an animator. They used to do stuff with Game Grumps, and they were in like two reanimates. Which two? Which was Mama Luigi and this one. Unfortunately, oh. they did pass away before this one went public. Oh. But, you know. Dang. It's they, always, they did what they like. It's always so weird when internet personalities mm-hmm. pass away because it feels too soon. It's like, uh, I'll, I'll put in a Vocaloid thing. Uh, do you know the 
composer the, the guy that did the, Two-Faced uh, Lovers. Sam Free! Mm-hmm. He did Luca Luca Night Fever, Two-Faced Lovers. Uh, A Rolling Girl? Worlds. No, that was Rio. Did they also pass away? <laughs> no, Rio I think is still kicking. They okay. just had a big... He's still kicking. I th- they had a big uh, wave of music early Miku, like her V2 era. Mm-hmm. And now they... No, they did do one recently. I think they did Sand Planet. Which is so good. I, I feel so cool whenever I listen to that. But they did that one. They did World Ends Dance Hall. That's oh, another that's Miku really Luka. Da, 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 and they did another one, but they passed away like in 2011. And it was just like, what the heck? That's when the Phineas and Ferb movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> that's 10 years old. It's about to be. Oh my gosh. I used to watch it every year on the anniversary. <laughs> and then we said, pull, Peach, pull out stop, my DVD. <laughs> Peach, stop watching this. We've watched it a dozen million times. Well, We're now I can just pull it. it up on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, we are definitely not sponsored by Disney+. Plus. Never. We don't have that kind of money. Never, <laughs> ever. We don't sign those kinds of uh, checks. All right. Okay. So we started the episode. Oh, I have to give another shout out to Kirby Abridged because I can't think of this opening without thinking of the perfect joke, which was they ask about the flip book and she goes, it's a flip book. I put a subliminal message in it. <laughs> God, I don't know who they got to do Tiff. I think her name's like Ocarina Master or something. Her uh-huh. tip voice is spot on. I can't watch this episode without thinking of it. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, that episode is so funny because the whole premise is that in in this episode, basically, they're, they it's, decide it's to make a cartoon a, about, about making a the cartoon. The process of making a cartoon and how terrible, arduous, and time-consuming So in the is. abridged, the, the idea is that they're going to abridge the first episode of Kirby. And they're like, no, you can't abridge the first episode. Stop so it. many people have tried and it's terrible. It's like, and they're like, look, we'll just reanimate the whole thing and it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, like... Uh, that sounds like those in a nutshell. It's like Cliff Notes, but the Cliff mm-hmm. Notes is accidentally the entire book because it's just that detailed. Uh, that sounds like Kingdom Hearts. But it's super funny here because they actually have put some subliminal messages into these. <laughs> Into these flip books. Because it's really interesting the idea of animating someone animating. Because he, she's using the flipbook style, so it's page after page after page sound effect. <laughs> Good job. But it's like you gotta animate. But you have those to pages. animate that, and it's like whoa. This takes so much. Like I, I, t- I eternally think of the wander over yonder quote. Animation takes so much work. They should really appreciate the people that do it, and then everyone looks at the camera. <laughs> That feels like a message to teachers, yeah. like, yeah. But no, Manny Burden put one in, look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing at her. So whoa! they all go like, whoa, what's going on? Animation oh. is evil! <laughs> Nick, I promise this won't all be Kirby did, abridged jokes. <laughs> I did remember Nick Kalmar, I did write a little note about this. I'm trying to swear off notes because... From the episodes we've recorded, I was way too stringent on notes. But Nick Kalmar... Well, it's like doing a PowerPoint. You just gotta use it as an outline. I was using it as the full... Not a crutch. <laughs> I was using it as a crutch. So no outline today. But Nick Kalmar uh, has a really cute Paper Mario style. It works really well with Kirby. I love Tough. Look how the little cappies look. I like the cappies. Look. They have a big, uh, like, toad yeah. look. And then say... And say you may... Say you may... Is glorious Apologies because she's any of these anime <laughs> because they they did the best animation. If I, if I forget part. their names, someone's it's going. Hard. Whoa, that's so cool! God, and there's so <laughs> many terrible drawings. Oh my of gosh, DDD. that's Vine sauce. <laughs> there's so many crappy there's... drawings of DDD in this reanimated. I I am living. It's the there's best. a Vine sauce mushroom in the corner of. <laughs> oh man, a files, a file, a t h y l e, a file. And also crummy drugs. Also, okay, the next scene, Ed Botnick. Ed Botnick has the cutest 3D visuals. When, when, for Diddy. when Diddy to go, that kid's cool. flippy book don't give me an idea. The flippy dippy book. It's so flippy cute. dippy. <laughs> so then we get to reanimating the opening, which this took a you lot know, of scenes out of people to do. <laughs> It generally it's a it's a very faithful version yeah, of no the intro. No one wanted to go crazy. Which like 
It's such a good opening. <laughs> it is good. God, the, I love the opening. The English version of it. Because how would you describe the Hoshi no Kabi? <sighs> it's fine <laughs> what it is. The second <laughs> opening for Hoshi no Kabi is amazing. <laughs> What's that one? It's like, Kabi, Hoshi no Kabi. I don't know what the words are. <laughs> it's very 90s. It, it reminds me of a lot of Japanese. 90s openings is it really like magic 90s? night ray earth or something like it's so oh good. my gosh you're but right. the first <laughs> one is just the, the kirby march which it's funny enough but it's it, listening to the whole thing i will say i'm sad that uh we, i love the ending the, take home the took That's a out a one. lot of the scenes made specifically for the opening of the japanese dub like we missed that DDD's banging on Kirby with the hammer as they're all marching. I think they they include part of that. They might have it sneaked in 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 another Mm -hmm. episode, but this, but four kids dubs usually go with, we'll grab clips from the episode. I will say it's a, it's a crying shame that the ending themes aren't included because they are fire. The the two ending themes, Tikkun Wamaru and, uh, Maru! The other one is like the Kirby... Ska. Da, 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 da. The, the ska. Da, 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 da. It's not a ska. Oh, yeah! <laughs> like, the guy singing has such a f- he goes, fun Ooh. time. Also, the best part is uh, when we get the nightmare in DDD. I'm not gonna help you, King DDD. I need a monster to fight that there Kirby. He's got a club of that there Kirby. I, I got a monster club of that there Kirby. That's what we do best at NME. You better get it with money back guarantee it's like how do these rhymes fit perfectly god it's just it makes me think of the the four kids commercials (laughs) they were so the ones where they would just what's cooking on kirby oh i was thinking i was thinking like the one um, kirby right back at you it's the place to be. No, I was thinking of the A ones. dinosaur park that'll make you scream. Sounds to me just like another scheme. Oh, he'll be broke by Halloween. It's really, hard to, do a long, <laughs> really <laughs> hard to do a long sip. Uh, you're just not good at the sarcastic sip like me. Uh, okay. Do you even drink the water or do you just let it rumble? I was too thirsty. (laughs) I just actually went for the water instead of slurping. But no, I'm thinking of the four kids scenes. Yeah, it sounds like you don't even sip it. You just make the noise in the water. Yeah, it's it's the spitefulness less than the water intake. Okay. (laughs) No, I'm thinking of the one where they got like Lan from Mega Man Battle Network, (laughs) Jackie Chan, somebody from Yu-Gi-Oh! And they put them all in the car. No, that was the... That was um, Fox Kids WB. Oh, okay. They did those. Fo- oh, like the one four where- kids had their own <laughs> weird like commercials. The where, where like they Dot had the epitome. Someone from Backstreet Boys is yelling at Dot, and he goes, "Ah!" And he yes. vaporizes <laughs> Dot. Like one of those. <laughs> yeah, that's <was> great. <laughs> that was Kids WB. That's great. <laughs> okay. Well, no, what were you thinking of? I was thinking of the commercials. Oh, my one shout out uh, to the to the reanimating the opening is that when uh, Kirby does his big tornado suck to all of the random enemies. I don't even remember this episode of the anime, but they have <laughs> Cur- Jacob <laughs> McCaw has Kirby screaming as well with the oh, doing the two is is just so good. I <laughs> don't believe your eyes, Kirby. 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 Kirby! 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 Oh, I love how they make a superstar reference. Oh, in that, uh... By having the Mario, uh, having the Mario crew. And then we get this great one of Kirby singing the opening with all the weird-looking DDs. Lorenzo Estrada. <laughs> it, really gets you, it really gets you pumped for what this reanimated well, is. Make sure one Meta Knight was in there. Well, of course. That, that's the whole thing with the... <laughs> I'll st- talk about this later. Meta Knight. Everyone rule. was. Dying. Everyone wants to draw Meta Knight because he's the most popular character. But we were sadly, the episode dead. they picked is one with very little Meta Knight in it. So if they wanted a Meta Knight focused one. Would they so have done either episode three. Yeah, the but episode three fights. isn't as funny. <laughs> it's not. But it also got. It pains me to do this. And he what? kicks his car down the hill. What? 
so very nice. So DDD has this miraculous idea. He wants his own flippy dippy book. He wants his own show thing. the movie. So they're showing the movie. <laughs> it's so weird. It's a big it's uh, escargoon. I love the one where escargoon has. He goes, he just goes. <sighs> he gives a little sigh. Little baby sigh. Also, I love Christopher Wade's version. I of- love how everyone draws Dee Dee laughing. Hey, I feel like whenever <laughs> someone gets a scene where Dee Dee laughs, they just go full ham. It's because the who was Dee Dee's voice actor? Do you know this off the top of your head? Um, I don't remember the name. But it's what the else same did one is. Dinosaurs Escargoon. are real. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of the Yu Gi Oh episode. Escargoon and Dee are the, the same guy. person. Yeah, I think it's Ted Lewis. Let me look it up real quick. What the heck? Oh, no, Christopher Wade has the MST3K and Escargoon's. He's like, oh, it's over already. And Escargoon goes, oh my god, <laughs> you, you gotta, gotta love a, a, this talk. You got one more doodle and I've been off my noodle, sire. <laughs> he's, just, he's just going. <laughs> Like, you have to appreciate a good MST3K joke because they're really funny. They're good. Oh, Noah Segura has a really good laughing D to D. Ooh. <laughs> and so does Ando Beaky and Bean Q. Yeah. <laughs> we got that one. <laughs> uh Oh. D D What do you think Three is Three D's is a rare Triple D. What do you think is a rare reference? Uh MST three K or Spaceballs? I, think, I don't think people would make a space ball I joke. I think people Because it's more easy to do a visual MST3K yeah. joke of three people in the audience. Like, that was the whole Lion King one and a half joke. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I just got that. <laughs> Why does it take me so long? But I think with space balls, everyone accidentally comes across a space ball. Ha- Why don't they happening? have DDD's English voice actor? I know he was voiced by Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> Maybe you have to look up King DDD cartoon version. Like, Ugh. like in parentheses Jiminy, Jiminy. when it says All right, answer. keep... Show the movie. <laughs> we are showing the movie... Fix up the focus, you fool! <laughs> so, so eventually, they're like, well, we could just get a bunch of people to do this over and over and make it all about DDD, but we need you to finance it. But Enemy's like, I don't know. And Obiki also has a really fun <laughs> DDD. He's High so five on big. that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He it takes so off his glove. <laughs> Like, and then BQ has just the cutest DD just <laughs> spinning everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna make ourselves an anal basic sensation. He's just jerking up and down. <laughs> this feels like the advert for the reanimated. You gotta Wanted know. cartoon staff must know how to draw for hours on end. Bring your own <laughs> sleeping bag. No pay. No pay for exposure. For exposure. Only. Only. It's so true. It's very true. <laughs> But they're looking at you know, it. It's hard to have references everywhere because then it's just like everyone's doing a reference. But I think this this collab has a pretty good. It knows when to just play it straight and when to have a funny reference. Because like that scene, it was just a boring sign scene. It's, so it's like it's, eh. I think it's complete random chance who you get for those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. I don't think. Maybe other reanimators have done this, but I don't feel yeah, like... Yeah, it is Ted Lewis. Okay, it's Ted Lewis. <laughs> yeah, see, it took long a long time for me to actually Just look up Ted to. Lewis. But I knew it was Ted Lewis. I feel like with reanimators, unless you're the product planner and you tell people who got every single scene, there's no corresponding in being like, in this last scene, did you make... Uh, Mario's overalls red or blue? Because I, I, I think that's how same. Game Grumps does it. Because well, like they they Game storyboard the whole thing and then select certain animators to do it. You're right, but unlike this one where it's just like luck of the draw, whatever you get, it's just complete chaos <laughs> if it works out or not. But the townspeople are all looking. He kind of looks like. Do you think he looked like uh, Sam there? From Sam and Max? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, man. Sam and Max reanimated one. <laughs> Which episode would they do? The MacGuffin? Oh, there's a Pikachu Lord. in the corner. <laughs> is that a late turn-in, or was Pikachu meme, has that been around for three years? Is it? <laughs> oh. So oh. here we get DDD's sales pitch by Dreaming Every Day. 
And they got DDD posters. They have the best thing from Planet Robobot, which was Kirby's cute little stickers that he drew himself. And when they have Honestly, if you haven't looked them up, it's they're so good. And when they have his banter, <laughs> he's screaming and his mouth is oh, in the mic. Man. So he's like, I am the best. Now part. I'm the producer. Oh my gosh, baby laughs has a great <laughs> So they drew scene. long things. So we get like pickle rick and blue pickle and Larry. Larry, Bob's in there, the Final Fantasy uh, cactus enemy. We never ran into one in seven. I thought that was seven. from... No, that's from Final Fantasy. Oh, it's not a Digimon joke? No! Is there a cactus in Digimon? There's Cactusmon, but it does not look like this. The one oh. that looks like the caution sign? That's, that's it's a from Final, Final Fantasy? Yes, oh. we're looking this up. No, no, just keep going, because we're about to get no. to my first See, big shout-out in there. Cactular is Final Fantasy. You know, he looks kind of like the... Oh, he's an eight. The cruel cumber enemy from Dragon Quest. <laughs> what? There is a Cactular in Final Fantasy Seven. Um, we have to find it. He's on Cactus Island. You can only sure. get it if you're on a green chocobo. Oh, because green, green coat chocobos, remember, they walk across different surfaces. You know I know nothing I about I love how it most. was in Dirge of Cerberus. It's got a whole page. <laughs> You're getting distracted. We don't have time to think about Vincent right now. I, I think about Vincent all we the time. We gotta talk Hold about on. Painter C. Paint. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Was it this one? No. No. Okay. Well, it's like he's got. So, like there. before Our don't do they anything. started going by the name Paint to See Paint, they actually had a scene in this reanimate. It's where they're talking about the production meeting. Oh, I think. Oh, this one's also fun. Where the mayor's trying to haggle with DDD and he grabs him and flattens him. This one. First, I we really, have to have a production meeting. I really like this Very one. Cute. I think Tiff looks really cute here. Mm-hmm. Production meeting. Is it this one? Yes, it's Hyper? that one. So they went by Hyper CP for this one, but now they do really funny Kirby animated shorts. Aqua Teen Hunger with Force. A- Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I kept forgetting the name. <laughs> you walked into my room one day and you went, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And I was like, Yeah, what about that show? I was like, Oh, I just couldn't remember the name. I needed to walk in here to remember it. Very funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. These are you don't know Jack <laughs> yes. titles. I really love how everyone butchers Takori because nobody likes Takori. No so whenever they have to draw him, they're like, oh, let's just do give him weird arms is fine. Let's just give him weirdness. So the star of this here show, he looks it's like Wario. Me, D-D-D, so man. Brett Muller's oh, DDD looks like Wario. Maybe it's the way he's rubbing his fingers together, being like a mincer. A, mm, a I would say more so it has a DuckTales look to it. I didn't watch DuckTales. I'm sorry. Okay. There's a Steven Universe in back there. Were we into Steven Universe? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Camp Laszlo drawing. What? I think... I think it's a Camp Lazarus. Either that or it's a Spongebob reference. They could be anything. But <laughs> this is also where my favorite Mad Taz has Tiff going, That's, That's the sl- sloppiest, sl- ugliest sl- drawing I've ever seen! And they have Tiff drawn as the sloppiest, <laughs> ugly drawing. And suddenly everyone else is breaking. In the God, I really love everyone's oh, sketches. Because they, ra- they range from, like, terrible drawing to meme to, <laughs> like, someone gave every once in a while, like, best. I did my very best here. I love Ham, Mega, and Cheese. T- Tiff is also really mm-hmm. cute. Hey, well, the interesting thing about this <laughs> anime is seeing how people draw the cappies. Yeah. Oh, this is another one. <laughs> Ely Nixu draws all of the people. He has all the qualities of an ancient warrior. They all look like their voice. It's really <laughs> it's great. Oh, this one's also fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Thomas Pool has a really cute. And Thomas Pool. I always think work? Earthbound. I guess it's just the hair looks like I think, poo. <laughs> no, it's either poo. Or... Oh man, the way they did those eyeballs for S. Carcoon, so good. <laughs> he grabs him by the neck. This oh, is a very did, Garfield man, look. To I feel the show. I feel like they did the Garfield one in the Mama Luigi. Maybe. Oh. Why can I just be an assistant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the first three D one. No, we already had the one. Cause that kid's flippy book don't give me an idea. Oh, you're right. This is the second. This one. This is the the, the realistic three D. It's scary. So weird. 
It'll be brighter production. You got that. So then uh, we have our first night in the theater. <sighs> we're, we're getting into my scene. <laughs> uh, wait, you're so embarrassed. I just, uh, I feel like I've improved. And, you know, it is important in art. You do improve. I did the best I could do at the time. Well, if I did it again now, I'd do it differently. Oh, Mad but Taz did another one. I feel like this it's second a very, Mad Taz was one where it's like, we just need anyone to fill in. It's a very blink and you miss it scene. So it's, it's it's the one after all right, uh, so the, the dad with his look. runny I think it's potato. at the five minute 54 scene. Yep. There you go. Yep. 5.54. Tiff goes, ah, and blinks. And that's the entire scene. <laughs> that's, that's what I had to work with. Do you have any special notes about this scene? Besides that you're embarrassed and you wish it never <laughs> existed? <laughs> this is before I figured out that you could hold the shift key to not stretch out your image. So um, that's why it looks so <laughs> terrible. I felt, I felt like when I uploaded it, it looked fine, but you know. I guess a little behind the scenes is that I originally had drawn her in her normal form, but I didn't like it as much. So okay. I did Let's just I did my I human form because that's what I do. <laughs> like Sorry, that's folks. that's my style. <laughs> if if you're looking at the the uh, thumbnail for the special episodes, you will see that Peach's side has a bunch of gajinka. Ginka? I, I just usually call them humanizations now because Humanoid. the other one makes me feel like a weeb. <laughs> Gijinka. Gijinka. Gijinka? I don't know. Gijinka. And then mine is just people. <laughs> okay. But no, I don't know. I think it's fine to do I it like this it. way. The problem is not everyone fits going Gijinka. Mm-hmm. I'm a weeb. I'm going to keep saying Gijinka because it's like Tiff. Gesundheit. Maybe tough. <laughs> Sure, we can push it. For I mean, if I had Kirby, I would have just shown Kirby because it's like yeah. Kirby's easy. <laughs> no, I want to say that in the background, yet the lore. Star I did have, cutter. I did have a little, a little reference little, because it was fun. Little backgrounds. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun to do little references. Just a little thing. A just rousing th- bout of fisticuffs. The good guys can fight the bad guys in space. Hey, hey, you might be right. Oh, Tiff's eyes look really cute here from Evie's. Oh, I love <laughs> Kogasaurus has the dad be <laughs> slinking like a slinking ditto. like a big slime. Oh, this one is also cute. Inky pink where tough flops on the mm-hmm. couch. I remember there there were some scenes that came out really early and everyone was using those as their basis. That was one of the scenes. Oh, the one where he flops on the couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pico Nico. I don't think that's what they were going for, but just <laughs> we gotta keep going. So basically, Tiff gives a storyboard idea for the first. And it's episode. basically the first episode. This one came out really early. Brian Bear. Brian Bear. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to be the main character. Main character. I, like, I love it when right? people. F- <laughs> now oh. let's take a look at our storyboard. That's another thing I've written down toaster. here is that I really like how we can go from like an extremely detailed scene to just like. Basic shape Tiff. <laughs> now tiff let's take a look at our storyboards. <laughs> yeah, Kirby will yep. beat the bad guy. And then they'll, they'll give him a Also, I appreciate that not everybody went the Tiff is sexy route. Some Thank people you. did. I know a few people did, and that's to be expected. We because won't. it's an anime, but you know, I, I give a big pat on the back to everyone who did not overly sexualize Tiff. Thank you. I have a question about uh, Fiu Jingling's what is Kirby wearing? What is it? What I don't hat? know. It's probably the animator's hat. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like it's a Puyo Puyo hat. Maybe. I don't. I have no clue. I just like the way Tiff is in Oh, Biffimator has a fun DDD. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fact that Kirby's got a writer's. Uh... Yep, so you gotta love how people draw all the character references in the background because they go from memes about DDD to like random. <laughs> there's a no random no- Kirby characters. <laughs> it's really funny. like there's the DDD doll. Like that's so cute. <laughs> what? Where was the DDD doll? I'm going on the. It was on the bottom right. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna rewatch it because this is very important that I see DDD doll. You're right. I'm still forever regretting not buying one when they <sighs> were selling. It would have been cute. I do. And the Specter Knight plushie. I Man, forever what a regret. Matthew Toronto did this. <laughs> Apparently he did. Well, the thing is, is that requests come in so sporadically that there's no mass order. Mm-hmm. It'd be like he'd buy a bunch and be like, okay. No, I meant if he did people. one of these reanimated. Oh, I don't know. 
how skilled he is in reanimating. He made his whole game, but... I mean, he does, he's done animation before. I guess because he did his whole game. So we also have a good old DeviantArt uh, punch there. Because <laughs> who it's posts funny. things on DeviantArt anymore? Am I right? <laughs> Peach Supreme? Yeah, you know. What? Are you saying that you Peach post Supreme things on weekly on your DeviantArt at Peach Supreme on DeviantArt? <laughs> what? It's mostly a dumping ground for all of my old art. So if, if you want to find old art that I've done oh. and, I'm in, and I'm embarrassed about now, you can go look at it. I think I also have one, but it's also an old dumping ground. Now I'm just like, no, not animation for me. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I love J. Joker dudes where DDD says scribbles and his head gets oh, all scribbled. Scribble will be done in no time. <laughs> his head. Oh, so here we start getting <laughs> into... <laughs> I don't know. It's almost... You can't really reanimate these because it's so funny in the original. How terrible. <laughs> How terrible the DDD Everyone pictures are. So instead, DDD. we just make every kind of bad joke where it's like let's draw ddd as a spongebob sona or, or as, as a, a as a brony or as a family, family guy, guy joke or like a five nights at freddy's joke <laughs> we can do anything <laughs> with like him. they grab all the classic jokes because it's just like yeah we gotta draw like a bunch of bad ddds let's just go just, for it just, <laughs> so we've just got bad ddds i think it stinks <laughs> We've pretty got new, new another DDD. new, new, pretty ugly. I sl- We've got <laughs> belongs in the trash DDD. I slimmed you down a bit. <laughs> ah! Ooh, yeah, they see? have really good background art. This person worked really hard on this scene. Denise like they, Walker? they put up their whole thing. <laughs> oh, I think it's Patch Tunes. This is the Kermit DDD. Patch Tunes. I feel yeah, like I've heard of that. Did. I feel like I've heard of them. <laughs> This I whole bit where DDD faints after looking at all of the bro- someone wearing the all of the shirts. terrible drawings. The crying There's a Five emoji. Nights at Freddy's one, a oh Shrek. My, that's it's like, what it is. <gasps> so what it, that's, Rick is and that Morty. Sans? <laughs> also, I love Sans. how evil Kirby looks. He's like, I'm gonna torture you with this. <laughs> this <face."> terrible drawings. <laughs> oh, this is a bird. Uh, that was a Sonic. <laughs> oh, I knew this is terrible. Or they were yelling at each other. Putu bring him how to lie. I like scene, how Putu like had. <laughs> also, I love Phil Hoover's. It isn't really animated, but the face tells all. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. It's like I should have gone for something like that, <laughs> where it was just <laughs> where one it's, it's very de- one very detailed frame. Like yeah. that's what I try for now. <laughs> This person did a rhythm heaven scene. Oh. Oh, another thing I really like is that occasionally people just get so sick of drawing to Corey that they'll just draw Pitch instead because he's a, he's a game-specific Kirby bird. He's the small bird. Also, I love uh, Jack Rizinger. I'm in charge of production, shows so box cool. on fire. It, it's jokes like that that are really nice. Also, I liked Kai Buzetta's. It was very mm-hmm. detailed, and also everything slowly is turning cursed in the frame. <laughs> To, like I think this was before Doki Doki Literature Club. I they don't make a ton of jokes, right but I feel like that could be one. Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And everybody Joseph makes the Kirby the to- anat- anatomically correct Kirby jokes. It's so weird. Joseph Aladonna has the true painting Kirby with pains, true which feet. is like you put the you just yeah, put the good. stuff on. So we're looking at the uh, colors, sire. Here's the colors, sire. Whoa. Well, she's painting Kirby over there. So here that you can really tell that Star Allies came out because everybody's like, we have to draw buff DDD. Oh, yeah, buff draw DDD buff was DDD. a trend that did I not... love the way they draw DDD's eyes. Benjamin <laughs> Davis. Davis. We'll put you in later. <laughs> <laughs> also, so I do love this one where they look back and they're like, what about Kirby? I really liked. Uh, I guess you what think. if I really liked what if girls. Yeah, what if girl. They went full on like how to they, decide. They thought design about the, the cappies that they were mushroom like, and one's got a. It's mushroom such a cute head. reference, and you even see Adeline in the background here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, with, with they the like to insert them. random Kirby characters that just aren't in the show, like, just in the background. Like I think at one point Galactin you'll see Knight. Taranza animating. I saw a Galactonite in the background. Mm-hmm. A Magalore. I appreciate a good Kirby game reference. <laughs> Oh, I remember, this one's so I funny. remember this segment was one of their oh. promo pictures mm-hmm. where they were like, we've got it all done. Give me oh, DVD or our give me death. By <laughs> they have so Tracy. many really funny jokes here. It looks kind of like a Peabody and Sherman cartoon. <laughs> it's okay. really funny. It almost looks like a photograph. <laughs> Quentin Tracy. I love Kawasaki. Good job. 
This one creeps me out. <laughs> the Pedro Miranda one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a uh, stop. Motion so he, here's another scene cranberry. where they'll just randomly insert Meta Knight into the thing because it's like we like Meta Knight. Yeah, okay, let's me. just put in Meta Knight. We just want more Meta Knight. We don't want to draw pictures of Dedede. We want to draw pictures of Meta Knight. I love I love the Kirby's face when oh, he's this like this one's Johnny. adorable. Oh, the way is... they drew on the frames. Oh, oh Andy Bestido. That's so cute. It's, I love how everyone is drawn, too. It's, they're all so cute. It's all done. Heck, they put in a Smash Bros. joke here hey! with a half an apress and Julie. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Also, I let, think. Let me in here. Uh, I remember oh, the person who animated this the button hand. press scene. They're, they're like, like, this is well, very there's important. there's my thing, the button press scene. Oh so another big one is that Chiklu does three scenes in this reanimated. I can't believe it. They were the real pitch hitter. <laughs> Good on Shiglu. And this is like before they got super popular with Game Grumps animated. Oh, too. are they the Prilosec? Eat Prilosec. Consume looks Prilosec. Like Pril- They're just so it. good with timing. Because, like, with this scene, you get Didi going, hey, 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 and then it's an awkward silence, so it just zooms in on his face. I love the timing. I love their more recent re- animated where it's the what's going on in Aaron's head. Ooh. Boy, am I glad I I have a small wiener. And I'm really glad I didn't say that out loud. What are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> oh no, is Danny listening? I'm just I'm just think, my, thinking quietly. To my th- oh, she Oh, she animations. animation. I, I used to follow them. <laughs> they, they had a fun one. He's yeah. looking They went with a Kirby Dreamland 3 style, which I was, was a very say, nice style. I was going to say Kirby uh 64. Oh well, no, they went for the the sketchy style that Kirby right. Dreamland 3 had. But yeah, what continues to happen in the episode is that Diddy's like I want my way and Escargoon just keeps saying, "No, I'll no, do we'll it. do I'll it later. Do it. It's fine." <laughs> and it's like, "Will it ever be done? Will it ever?" So I honestly this- you know, just talking about the episode here, I'm I'm amazed that all the extra stuff actually happened <laughs> because it's like they worked so hard and then they redid everything and it's just like who who redid everything what was the point of getting them for the first place Slave it's like driving is crazy what? oh i also like mary rooney's where very cute tiff, tiff. where tiff shrugs and it's like i guess we're all pretty new to this I don't know either, Tiffy, but I'll do the best that I can. We'll do the best. <laughs> Here's oh, solid snake, dee dee dee, and enters the room, and Oscar Grant's like, oh my god. <laughs> but no, everyone is sleep deprived. They all be dying. Oscar <laughs> Grant picks up. Oh, the should we should give some real props to the people that. Another family do, guy one to do escargoons. Oh, designs. I love this Because like one. Donovan Dietrich has a really good <laughs> both escargoon <laughs> and DDD, mm-hmm. where he's more penguin like than before. It's like a lot of people just had a lot of fun with escargoons design. Oh, this was another oh, good yeah. Nicholas people's... Martinez has a really good DDD laugh. <laughs> 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 it looks like something out of the pebble and the penguin. <laughs> so they check in with enemy, and they're all like, well, his oh. name's customer service customer service yeah i just call him enemy guy or he's the enemy salesman because right. like he doesn't have a name name his name is customer service well he's just your regular old customer service person oh this is uh we need more time fine but you gotta make the deadline you know it's gonna get the this is one of my my <laughs> favorite scenes coming up oh, oh! But they're talking payment and they're like it's you know i don't have- got that kind of money well, then you better make your deadline. Your favorite scene is the one where he's picking his nose. I mean, that is a fun one also, where it's just like, he does it so suave. He looks like Sakurai. Say Bottom. what? <laughs> Sailor Bomber. And everyone's like, I just think of the reanimate. Dead. It won't be ready the day after he oh, to short animates where, where the Maple's- The deadline is a push move. Where she's like screaming about it. Thank you for it. picking the mic. <laughs> yes, thank you, Peach. But no, I also love Escargoon by Jared Jules. Now, Maple, that's, that's just stinking thinking. And I think that's something that 4Kids Dub was missing. When you ad lib fun lines, you don't have the energy of the fun lines mm-hmm. in your re But it's like with this reanimated, we can just do whatever we want. One, you can and we can use... have escargoon go. That's just stink and think, and he can poke <laughs> down on the stink and the think. <laughs> Everyone keeps drawing them with giant hands, <laughs> like his his nipples are the eyeballs. Like oh seriously, my gosh, just, I didn't even notice that. They just make these eldritch abominations, and it, like it's fine here because it's not okay. Here's one. It's Dumb fine, but because it's not everyone. <laughs> 
Dog butt. So dog butt butt. Is it Casey Green? <laughs> I don't think, because I looked it up, and I don't think it's Casey Green. But it, it looks so much like him. Casey Greenblatt? So, no, Casey Green, they did... Oh, the This Is Fine Dog. Yeah. <laughs> they also did the Game Grumps animated didn't with Tamil. Didn't we look up... Tamil. Didn't we look him up once, and he had a whole page about his frog drawings? Not P H R O G. Dog butt butt. Yeah. I couldn't find it when I looked it up now, so let's let's check. Dog butt butt <laughs> is on Twitter. If we look at everything, Delfino, we're gonna be here forever. Dog butt butt guy Ferrari. Oh, they keep up with drawing ish. Yeah, I'd say it's not Casey Green. Oh well, I but I really like their them. style. It's very they good. Are adorable. All right, man, I do not check in on. Come Twitter. on, cop checking your Twitter during the podcast. <laughs> You're the one who wanted to record right now. Don't yell at me. Excuse me. Don't yell at me like Takori is yelling. Get at busy. Me. Don't yell at me. Oh, and I love DDD's watching you <laughs> gab Sam, and then Takori kicks over the papers and goes, "Get the." Kirby's just crying in his hands. This is another weird one. Why is he got hands again? So I really like the way they overlaid the the clock. Yeah, that way it didn't. It's a good way of uh, universally connecting right. all these. So this is our teams. first uh pop team pipiku. Pop, pop team, team epic, epic jokes. They, they get to have many more as it progresses, but this is the first of them. Because yeah. that was the big anime we at the time. We were all loving Pop Team We were all thinking epic. about Pop Team Oh, I love drawing the circle. <laughs> Take home my maru. Maru. Just drawing, drawing. Just slaving away. Blinking. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Salem. Oh, here's Shigley's other scene. Oh, you louch better get working. <laughs> Oh, we're doing as good as we can. But yeah, the thing with the Eldritch Abominations, it's like, if everyone did it, or if it's like the whole thing, it would get to be too much. But when it's just like every few scenes in a row, it's like, yeah, eh, yeah it's funny. Somehow the pacing worked out. So uh, the deadline is today. Is now. <laughs> right and they're like, now. it's not, even, it's not like... even close to being ready. And, and she's like, just... well, we got 30 minutes. <laughs> like, it'll be fine. Uh, Kirby's <laughs> crying on a piece of paper. Trickster oh, has awesome. our first Spots JoJo. Up. It might be one of our only. Um, yeah, the JoJo jokes were kind jo- of past here. Jo- oh, jo- 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 Carl, Carl Duden. I love Carl Duden's animation so much. Something. It's so funny. You guys, we gotta see, see some dope. <laughs> You're gonna see something. Okay, this is my favorite. Your favorite Josh, one is Josh, Josh Chambers. Josh Chambers, because the enemy salesman is talking, and then suddenly his toupee his, is alive. His toupee is a crab, and it takes away. <laughs> And it's really, really it's magic time. Fun. For you kitties out there, that was the catchphrase for the Sunday night Disney movie night what? on ABC. What? It was a really strange reference that no one gets anymore. What the heck? Even I don't know. So that. yes, finally, now Meta Knight has appeared oh, thank in the God. animation. So everyone will put all of their budget into drawing Meta Knight. Alex, thank you. Nick. <laughs> It's one where it's like, we just gotta mash the lips. It's just like, make up anything. <laughs> Come on, work with us, people. <laughs> oh, I do love this one where he screams, we're on! And everybody's just Kirby's crazy. Kirby's so broken. I love Meta has got this <laughs> big, glassy eyeball. Ah, I got the opening, I got the opening. Oh, this one's cute. Here we go. So it's time for the opening. Oh, Sean Hicks had another cute one where it's a that still image, pan. but it's but it was it's a still an image in the original too. So it's Ooh. like, well, you know, do it Just where you do, do it. Do as you do. So this one required a lot of other. People so it to is reiterate. interesting how <laughs> the whole thing with uh, four kids is that they've stitched together the opening from uh, episode from clips, clips from the the show, but it's like for this reanimated, like we can actually just make it a full opening. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And have some fun. It's like, hey, we got DDD in a Flintstone cart. <laughs> we got a Smash Bros. joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got a Peach Super joke. Super Princess it's like, Peach joke. D- we can put all repellent. the jokes in. It's like, yeah. The one where he's dancing. <laughs> the scene where he across. dances on the table. Monkey KG. Monkey you KG, you've done the dance. Oh. <laughs> Dang. 
dumb down so, on us. So the opening's going on, and Tiff and Tom oh are my very God. angry. <laughs> you and know, Don Doro Doro. I don't think we're going to pick a best scene, but man, Don Doro Doro is Everyone so looks funny. Really Everyone funny. looks so funny. Hey, Crumb, you're supposed to be here. Yeah, now it's about to. And, and then DDD goes down like a Dharma. Like he the looks ones. like a deflating punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. So we got second pop team epic by Thingy Bubby. Okay, can't we never mentioned, them, it's fine. We never mentioned the first person with pop team epic. I am, I am pop sorry. Pop This is another one. Oh, Rebecca this Bomers. This is another sleeper. Rebecca Bimers, where, where Kawasaki goes, hmm, <laughs> hmm, Oh, Todd uh, Mosher. So Todd Mosher has another version of the of the opening, which, you know, I thought the first one was really funny, and I was like, oh, the second time won't be as funny, but they managed to make it absolutely hilarious. By just deforming everyone in weird ways. <laughs> oh, they've got, ways. like, Blade has a giant nose, and Meta Knight's just dumb with this opening. <laughs> He's got feet. <laughs> it's it's, feet. Just, it's He's really funny. <laughs> He's Coming in at you. Yeah. yeah. It's very Oh, and the then there's a, there's a, that was like mystery, uh, mani- mm-hmm. Maniac Mansion. That's the name of the old game. So here starts the bad animation, bad. which it was some very, people decided some... to, to keep the idea of the animation is bad. And some people are like, yeah, well, I'm just going to animate it. I do like this Nightmare Enterprises. It is a good uh, Nightmare Enterprises. By Jay Bodhi. It was a good one. Good job, Jay. Mm-hmm. So they're all running in. Do you think nowadays oh, this, this still happens with the film reels? Seen it? Yeah, where you. I don't think people use film reels now. Okay, so it's not like panicking. It's probably all electronic. Over. Goodness me, it is also. I mean, confusing. people still mess stuff up all the time. <laughs> Color grading just it don't go good. So this is <laughs> yeah. the first. Oh, Shigley's got their final scene. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't wear my Kirby shirt today. I was thinking about that. I saw it I was in the thinking laundry. About it. It's because I have a Kirby shirt that has the badly drawn DDD in it. Oh, this is another funny one that you don't think is funny. Olivia Fitzgerald's remind me of They make a visual joke about DDD's fat head. No, your head's even fatter than I thought it was. This is another cute one Sammy sees where everyone's animated cutely, but Meta Knight's got this air of, uh... He's got the floaty knight. cape from Fire Emblem. <laughs> he does. He's got this air of knightlyhood where he's not moving. Mm-hmm. It's just his floaty cape. And this is one uh, I'm Michael so Brooks Chandler, uh, you, you knocked it out of the park with Meta Knight here. Team. Meta Knight only has, like, two big scenes, and the two people that got it treated it with the utmost he- care. I am nervous. You're acted before. I have never. Oh, and he looks so. And he looks embarrassed. And then he just goes, "Thank you." <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh! Is and it? then Zach Benzilla has like the best Mimi animation. I love because it's the whole was... point. <laughs> and it goes under. <laughs> Where and am then, I? And then he loses his lips. <laughs> he looks hey, like... where am I? It makes me think of that Ooh. joke where they're like, your DDD looks like Pablo from the backyard again. What? <laughs> you, I used to have the, on... I think it's called on Tumblr, Shitty Kirby Comics. The oh, way they draw sorry. DDD. Sorry. You can bleep it if you'd like. Hmm. It's just their name. But the way they draw DDD looks like the penguin from the backyard again. And he, he got that in an ask, and then he pulled up a picture, and he's like, I hate you. I oh, hope you die. Oh, is this the one that's like, that'll have the Kirby go, Burpee? Yes. And Burby. it'll be like, no, it's your birthday, Kirby, not mine. Burpee. Actually. Actually. Actually, King. Sire, it is both of your birthdays. Burpee. Oh. Burpee. <laughs> I don't think they posted anything in a while. I don't know. <laughs> DDD saved And here's day. a weird thing in the translation. It's <laughs> that in the original, they used to have Tiff do the um, do the narration at the beginning with the title card. But in the 4Kids version, they don't have title cards. So here oh. they make a reference to the title card, and it's like... Oh, I or guess she's just mm, reading it aloud. It I also like... like how they draw the sheep with three different pen thicknesses. It's really funny. Good job, bag boy. <laughs> you did a good... So everyone's having to make yes, sheep to noises. The Kirby is big. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh, this one got done early by Phoebe mm-hmm. L. This is a fun one, Lola Kato. Yeah, how you have it in MS Paint. It's so funny. Yeah. 
His majesty's looking bigger than ever, and that's saying something. He's all proud. <laughs> he's, he's adorable. Oh. He's all proud, but it's like, what? Uh, he goes from Mimi to adorable in every five I seconds. Know. And you know, it really kind of works to have, like, the crappy animation <laughs> next to the, like, super detailed art. Like, I think um, someone else had. Michael Chandler. No. It yeah. was someone else. I don't know. But here's Has the other really fun one. scene is that Tiff is explaining the problem to Kirby in, well, in it, the studio. And then in the animation, it's Tiff yeah, they tries do that to talk in the original down too, Kirby. But it's, it's less obvious in the original. They make it more obvious here. <laughs> okay, that she's trying to explain. Is that they're just having casual banter in the audience. But it's it's fully animated to the point where it's like, oh, yep. <laughs> they they knew these characters. Oh, this is our first Cuphead. We were into Cuphead. We were. And um, Con- They don't this, make a ton of Cuphead looks jokes like Cuphead. here. I don't know. It could just oh, be going for old bad English. Oh, Mike Patton. Kept the perfect scene of DD shuffling to the side. Kirby ah, going, ah, ah, help me. <laughs> Like, like, you don't even need to reimagine ah. that. Just keep it as is. And suddenly, he walks... Hello! And as Sergeant <laughs> Brain talks to him... They do a stupid drug matter joke, and it's amazing. <laughs> Why aren't you looking fit as a fiddle? You're, you're downright down spiffy yourself. yourself. Okay, Have so you I know, Kirby? whoops, Astro got one of the few... So the other joke in the episode is that there are two frames... That are beautifully they're animated. They're beautiful. And it's like, who the heck... And I know Whoops Astro got one of them. You damn right spiffy yourself. I'm guessing Angel X Mikey got the other one. Mm-hmm. That feels fitting. He don't scare me none. Oh, I do love this one from Michelle Ramos. <laughs> where make, Tiff gets they're making so Jerry look like a hero. <laughs> that she catches on fire and Kirby looks very it uncomfortable. Is an reality show. Also, oh, I really like how they did this scene Kate where it's on, it's on the post-it and they have the vowel sounds on the post-it, which it's something that I tried myself when I was practicing animating. Evil beasts, beware. Again. It's that you have different mouth movements for different vowels. Oh, right. yeah. There was some of these Whenever they, whenever people Fred and Otto Kirby, had like an Eldritch Kirby, it works here because the animation is supposed to be bad. I'm still like, nah. <laughs> I don't like when people try and make Kirby <laughs> scarier than he is. Like, do we, he scratches butt? We love oh, Kirby. this, oh, this, this scene one here by uh, Ian K. Robbins. They oh work so gosh. hard on the machine, and it's amazing. Oh my, there's so many Truly, parts. Truly, sir, your hard work has gone to fruition. It, like, it, it wow. It looks great. It's amazing. DDD looks like his Kirby 64 self. Escar Escar Goon's Goon's got like amazing. a mustache. He always has a mustache. Well, it's, 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 it's differently. Oh, yes. Oh, Zippy, Zippy, Ragu Zippy Ragu has a really, <laughs> it's a really, really long, long scene, scene, but it's the meme scene that everyone remembers from that episode of I'll kick Kirby to the curb. Oh, come, little old me, a hero, surely, surely you jesting. That's always on. <laughs> Alyssa Leandra Delegate. I remember they said that they, they, they worked really it. hard at the beginning, and then they got to the end, and they're like, hey, we're out of frames. I, I gotta submit this. Well, it, was like they well, it still looks deadline, really nice, and I like, they didn't. I like the way it looks. They all look, I love how the family Very looks. Nice. They're all cute. Same with so Drive, the, Drive O Juniors. The, yeah, here the Pop Team Epic references have evolved to... The joke in the show, which is Bob Team Epic, which is Pop Team Epic animated badly. Which, honestly, if they're gonna make a joke for this reanimated, it's honestly a really I've said honestly twice. <laughs> Oopsie. It's it's, than me. it's a pretty good. It's a good joke to me. <laughs> okay, I like how the family looks. They all look cute. Well, this whole thing's rather second rate. Is this hey, stop motion? Cut the motion? You? Yes, it's it's the. They did it in Pop Team Epic. It's the felt puppets. And they draw faces. And they've animated over on top of it. Which it's such a good blend of style. That's very cute. So here's the Bob Team Epic joke from Captain. Was that everyone looks like they they've got balls in their mouth. Okay, I do love how Kirby goes to step and suddenly everything (laughs) large. Did he suck suck it out? Oh, great. We have that something original. Club, Club Penguin. Penguin. <laughs> I guess we were in our Remember Club Penguin ah, phase. Club Penguin. Oh, Club Penguin. I remember only going on there just they to break to make the rules. They used to make a bunch of DD Club Penguin jokes. <laughs> I remember going on there only to break the rules. Oh, here's the other big Meta Knight Look, scene by Alice Crunzy. 
Our hero. I would never, never say that. that. Yep, they worked so hard on this scene yeah, this just to make Meta Knight the cruelest. True Meta Knight fan. And I really love how people animate whenever they animate Meta Knight talking. Since his mouth is on screen, they just animate his visor moving. We'll change. It's such a good cartoon thing oh. that you never get to see because that. Most people treat Meta Knight super seriously. And it's like he wants to be serious. He wants to look if you serious knew what to he people. Looked like, but he's he's secretly a big nerd. He's a big he's he's, he's secretly a dork. a dork like Kirby. Mm-hmm. I also loved how Alex Sinclair has it where it's like, oh no, where's the color going? And then suddenly the version it gets less <laughs> timed out. I don't see no backgrounds either. <laughs> Dan Sills goes we full Spongebob. Time. And it's so good that I'm like, did, did they work, normally work on Spongebob? Dang. Do they? Also, this one by Lucia There isn't Fidel. a lot of claymation in this one. There's a few, like, felt puppets and stuff. But, yeah. like, in terms of pure claymation, but yeah. there's not a ton. But the ones that there are are very good. They all look very cute. Oh, I, f- I feel like Anna Lee Hoekstra, they animated this too good. They're too good for this scene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With fire DD. I'll suck up that Kirby and blow him I'm on out of here. here. So here's a joke that's kind of weird in the dub. It's that in the Japanese version, Kawasaki and Kabu have the same voice actor. And so the whole joke was that they got Kawasaki to voice Kabu Ka- and he's all nervous about it. I don't know if Maddie Blaustein does Kabu. I can't remember. I don't know either. But I love this joke. Roya Shindlin's also has unregistered hypercam and the and storyboard the pan. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, and that's called Warp, warp Star. Star. And then they Rage just have the mouse job. pulling the Warp Star out of Kaboo's mouth. It's so funny. <laughs> It's really fun. I think he really should give up cooking to become an actor. All right, we're almost at the end. Oh, so we're we're just like the animation crew. We've just devolved into Kirby scribbles. Not yet. Ooh, this is so. This is after Sergio Montegro just uses all of the animation budget to make the most jumping Kirby. They're so fluid, like they're bouncing. Ad lib. You should have told me this before. He looks like a wrestler. (laughs) It's so good. Power Jim. So no more script. Just make some stuff. No more budget. No more budget. (laughs) We're just Kirby scribbles. Kirby scribbles. It's like what? Oh no. Kirby drew this part. Yeah, yeah I, I can tell. <laughs> and suddenly it's jumping around. <laughs> it's it's adorable. Not enough memes for this. And then Anthony Wyatt shows that DDD and Escargoon Ugh. are destroyed because animation This animation is too giving me hard. palpitations. <laughs> it's too hard for everybody involved. <laughs> I really love the Kirby they ended on, which is like Kirby, but they've drawn the arms in the wrong spot. Oh, I spot. thought they drew a horn on him. <laughs> He's got like a little horn. And it's like, well, well, no. uh, well, you've made your cartoon, but it's terrible, so uh, pay us up. This is a shout out to Kevin Farnigan. You make the best shirts on the Yeti. Thank you. Did they do the Rhythm Heaven reanimated? They did. It looks they familiar. did a Mama Luigi segment too. And they did the new normal mm-hmm. boots shirts, I mm-hmm. believe. Which I, <laughs> I so, just I really like how they draw NASCAR I'm so, going in I'm this. I'm so bit. tempted to get the normal boots one for the Minecraft mm-hmm. reanimated, <laughs> not reanimated, the Minecraft hardcore mode because it's got Luca in it, and this is what you owe. And then ah, the my money. Just <laughs> Good job, Dan Stills. And he's like, oh, no. And then they barter their way out. And I do love how he makes the free. Hmm, that's not bad. Chris Bastin makes him delete the total <laughs> from his. All right, account. so we're here at the ending. We've we made it this the far. Ending. They do such a cute, like, little. Isaac we've Beals. ended the show. Do, Yay! Do, 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 what is the do, lesson do, we've all learned do, today? Do. Animation is hard. <laughs> that's, Don't do it on this. You're lesson. dedicated. I love how it goes. And I love how when the, the show music. starts, they all just tumble backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Ooh, so let's go see what's on uh, TV. So, so we get the intro animated for the third time. And a second person <laughs> has done it. And it's just bad hop, skip, and a jump rope away. There's so many memes. <laughs> so many memes. Like all we oh, have left are the memes. Where are the pictures at? Where the picture at? <laughs> oh, there was Mario's the employee. 
Okay, this is another great one. <laughs> he's he's so drawing good. Kirby with the KFC eyes. And he's going Oh my yes. god, I'm going kooky. Kirby kooky. Oh, this is another one. And we see one. all the all the Waddle The, one the is angry Waddle Dee. Magalore's goofing off. Two <laughs> They're are, drinking tea. One, no, I think that's it's coffee. coffee. One's a coffee. Mug. Yeah, going kooky crazy. Kirby kooky. I really love this one, how it's the bad they draw DDD, but as soon as he starts insulting Kirby, Kirby comes alive and is like, I don't think so. What? What do you say about me? Oh, but everyone's There's so many cute ones. That one's like a Jackbox scene with them laughing. Jackbox? It it looks like something you'd have in Jackbox Uh, or something. The fake in it? uh, Yeah, fake in it, Spencer Soreras animated that one. It was a good one. I love the color work. to his teeth. It's always fun when people do good color oh, it's work. So I mean, it oh, and here's the last scene Frankie where J. they forgot to color in Kirby. Frankie so J paint remembers to paint him in. Thank you. Yay! Yep. Yeah, so we've ended it today. Oh my gosh, there were so many animators. So many people. So many. Oh, man. Let's try and, and catch the time to cut you. Games. Oh no, you've caught my name. Ah. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad I did it. And it it's it like was, my springboard to joining other reanimates. It it's like, it yeah, was, I was, was in this one. That's we, the thing <laughs> is, it's like when you first are starting something, you're like, it's gonna be bad, and it's like, yes, yeah. It's but probably the important stick. things are that you learn from it. And you keep growing. So. And you keep I feel like forward. I've improved. Like, I really liked the Donkey Kong one I did. I did, too. I think what, what we did different was the animation style. Yeah. It went from trying to make FPS to... We'll leave the FPS to the editing software. Mm-hmm. And it's more so about the pictures themselves. It's like, I, I've realized what I can and can't do. So it's like, you gotta focus on your strengths and not... Like, sure, it's good to have, like, an idea in your head, but you gotta do what you can do. So. Uh, Very nice. What would you rate this reanimated? What do you mean? I'd rate it a Meta Knight out of ten. What does that mean? <laughs> that it's, that I don't like coolest? giving... I don't like giving things. I like ranking things with a, a random thing out of a random number. <laughs> Very random, nice. Random thing. So here, here random. in the credits, we get we get to see a bunch of people's progress shots, which I, t- I never do progress shots. I'm just no good at them. <laughs> well, that's because with traditional it animation, is, it is interesting here because you see a goes... scene that actually got cut. I guess someone oh, else did it. I don't do know. you? Is it this one? No, no. and um, it's back when everyone's laughing. Like that wasn't scene wasn't that in the actual reanimate because they do the other one. Oh, you're right, Inky Gloves. Yeah, Inky Gloves. Shout out to Inky Gloves. I guess they submitted it too late or something. I don't know. Maybe. Do you think that they would assign people... I say this with a completely unknown thing. Do you think sometimes that they assign more than one scene? A scene to more than one person and see who sends it in first or which version they I like mean, maybe d- near the end they might start doing that because, okay. like, <laughs> if, just, if just... some people just haven't sent it in and won't respond it's like uh, we, we need something <laughs> we need anything which is our shout out please go uh please join reanimates even if you don't think you're that great like we just we want to see them your little helpful <laughs> step will help it's every be every done. little person counts every animator counts <laughs> they really do it's because the thing because how many they haven't said how many scenes are left in Mario 3, right? You just asked for one and they threw one mm-hmm. at you. Yeah. Okay. But I think they're really close to Mario 3. So hopefully we'll be able to talk about that one soon. I am checking. Why'd I type a 2 in? Oh my gosh, Mario Brothers Z? No, oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay. Why can't we talk about it? Well, I mean, hopefully the Mario 3 one hasn't come out because I haven't finished my scene yet, so I gotta get working on that. You, we really do need to get working on that. You I know, think first I gotta finish up drawing the cover for this episode. <laughs> you also have to do that. Oops. By the time you have uh, heard... Uh, this is hard to type and talk mm-hmm. at the same time. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's why it took me so long to figure out DD's voice actor. Uh, uh, oh, I think they have the one next to mine. That's interesting. Oh, well, we'll just see about it. What? 
Uh, it's fine. Yeah, the Mario 3 one started late, very late, 2017, and it's still not done yet in 2021. Mm-hmm. Please just go, go <laughs> apply. Seriously. Please. Like, Please. At this point, we just want to see the finished project. All right, so I guess we should end up this episode because okay. my back's acting up because I'm an old lady. I'm not an old lady. An old lady. Where can you find yourself, Delfino? I, be, I am at uh, delfinodurians.tumblr.com. <laughs> what does that mean? I, I gotta do the coffee Kimmy Cooper. It's just okay. too funny. <laughs> and yeah. you can find me at Peach Supreme Six. No, Dad, that's not. It's Peach Supreme Art at Tumblr dot com. Mm. Peach Supreme sixty four at Tumblr dot com. It's just my random blog where I post. I reblog stuff a lot just for fun. Good so job. if you don't want to get if you don't want to get bombarded by posts, like you can just give me a follow. Bombarded? You do one post. I a do day. one a day. I think that's a good number because a lot of people just dump everything all at once. And it just gets to be too much sometimes. I just do one a day. Yeah, <laughs> I was worried I'll run out of things to reblog. Uh, our it's outro usually comes up when I take my lunch break, so I can. Our outro was composed it. by Taylor Lair. You can find more of their music at T Lair dot bandcamp.com that is t the letter t layer with an e at the end dot bandcamp.com and uh what is the next reanimated that we're gonna be covering mama 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 luigi Luigi? (laughs) truly we're gonna watch the reanimated episode earlier than scheduled but also uh just as a forewarning we will tell you what we We've just told you what we'll be watching. But if Mario 3 or Donkey Kong gets done in the time between this and the next episode, yeah, that'll be a miracle. we are going to be <laughs> squeezing those episodes in instead because they are of highest priority. So At least to me. <laughs> we'll see you next month when we talk about Mama Luigi reanimate. Paisani. Paisani.